My name is Andrea Wallace. I am a PhD uh, candidate and postgraduate researcher with CREATE, which is the Research Council for the United Kingdom uh, Center for New Business Models and Copyright Law. My research focuses on cultural heritage law. So I look at what cultural ins institutions do surrounding the practices around copyright, how they take the works in their collection and digitize them and make them available to the public, and then whether or not further copyright restrictions are placed over those images once they go online. I also look at the effect of digital cultural heritage and the new works that are being created from those images. So I have a very broad set of interests, but it really does cent center around museums and copyright. So tonight is the opening of an exhibition called Display at Your Own Risk. It's kind of a culmination of a lot of the research I've been doing over the past couple of years, which looks at a lot of the digitization issues that cultural institutions are facing when they try to make their works available online. It also looks at the new type of rights that are being created when they put rights online. And then it also looks at the impact that digitization has on cultural heritage and on the original work. So what we've done for this exhibition is curated a set of pieces, there's a hundred in total. We've printed the digital files to the original dimensions of the original artwork. So some of the digital files that we've downloaded are incredibly detailed, really high resolution. Others are so small in size that when you blow them up they become really pixelated and they're not even recognizable. And some cultural institutions take those images and they place them online and put them in the public domain. Other cultural institutions put them online, but they claim a copyright in them. So in doing so, they say that that is their own new original creation. And if you want to use that image, you're supposed to go to the cultural institution for permission. So we're looking at a lot of the practices and trying to make them transparent because there's a lot of policy issues that surround copyright. And even within the EU, um, the copyright law isn't harmonized in the level of originality. So what ends up happening is all these different institutions in different countries, they come up with their own set of rules for how they're going to treat this issue, whether they enforce it through terms and conditions on their website or they claim copyright in the image. And then we have other, cult uh, other countries that aren't even a part of the EU that are also featured in, um, in the exhibition. So it's really kind of taking all of these issues, trying to make them transparent so that we can see what impact they're having on digital cultural heritage. Well, we are hoping that we can shed a little bit of transparency on this issue because so many of the problems that are kind of existing right now are due to technology speeding up so much faster than copyright law can keep up. Um, we can't really adapt to a lot of the issues, so cultural institutions are coming up with really unique solutions to try to face the issues that are in front of them. It would be wonderful if we were able to, I guess, shed, like I mentioned, shed a little bit more transparency on the issue because if there's something that's happening in the digital realm, you don't always see that happening. So there's these um, consequences and these effects that are starting to reveal themselves that a project like this really helps shed light on. I have several favorites. I think uh, some of my favorites are actually the ones that are really, really pixelated because as you're standing farther back from them, they look like the original. You can't really tell that they're pixelated and that they're a low quality image. But as you walk toward them, then the pixels with your eye actually start to reveal themselves. So as you get closer and closer, they become more distorted. And then you start to think, oh wow, someone's claiming a copyright over this, or this is supposed to be you know, a representation of the original work, but you lose the detail, you lose a lot of the information in the original work. Um, so those are the ones that I think are really thought provoking. One thing that we've done with some of the pieces is we've actually repurposed them and created fabric as wearables. Uh, Carrie here has taken a portion of a painting at the Museum of Modern Art, which is a Van Gogh painting, and printed it on fabric and made it into a dress. I've done the same with a painting from um, the Rijks Museum, but I've actually distorted it a little bit so it's a bit more pixelated. We just try to find a new way to really interact with the art and create a new cultural good because it's the purpose of the public domain. And if you want to protect the public domain for these reasons, so you can have lovely dresses to wear at exhibition openings, mm -hmm. then we should be doing that.